Hey guys, Subsea Kid here with another quick tutorial on After Effects and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to do like a really nice clean and neat um, fade out transition with a bit of blur. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because in the speed edit OCE thing I do it at the end of this clip here. So you can see there it sort of blurs and fades out and this dude that and D'Anthony that's how you say it I think uh, asked how to do it so why not make a tutorial on it so uh, in After Effects make a new composition and then what you do is just drag in your clip so I'll just drag it in I'll just use the same clip and what you do is find the well I'll just quickly delete that last frame because it's just a red frame like that so boom okay so find the point where you want it to start fading out so I would say about um, let's zoom in a bit more about a second before the clip ends so I would say about here and then click on your clip and then hit T hit this dot push to keyframe the opacity and then go to the end and pump it like put it all the way down to zero as you can see it just nice little fade out there over about two seconds ish just yeah about a second over there and that looks pretty nice but just to make it a bit more like neater I like to add some Gaussian blur and this is the blur I use and then find the point where it starts to fade out so the first keyframe of the opacity and then keyframe the blurriness on zero and then go to the last keyframe of the opacity where it's completely faded out and just change it to about 50 and then if you hit U you can see all the keyframes there or four keyframes that's all it takes you can see it like blur and fade out so I like that it looks pretty nice so just to make it all a bit smoother and nice you can just select all the keyframes by just like cl clicking and dragging over them hit F9 and it makes them all easy ease and it's just like nice and it just eases the keyframes out so so it isn't so sudden so that's basically that and you can sort of make this into a transition so it can like fade and blur out and then blur and fade into another clip and the way to do that is just grab your other clip and just pop it in and just line it up like so so and as you can see it's like like that it just pops on and that looks kind of weird so what you do click on your second clip hit T on the first frame keyframe the opacity and take it down to zero uh, zero and then go forward about a second so that's a second for me and just go to 100% and as you can see it just like sort of fades out and fades in like that so that's pretty nice there maybe you can just extend it a bit more like that but you can still add some Gaussian blur which I like to do so you can add some Gaussian blur to the second clip go to the first like the beginning of the clip keyframe the blurriness and put it to 50 and then find where it's fully faded in so where the second opacity keyframe and change it to zero so basically and basically just click on your clip and hit U so you can see all the keyframes and you can see it sort of just like fades and like unblurs out if you know what I mean and then you can select all the keyframes and hit F9 and boom fade out and fade in let's quickly RAM preview this I'll just turn off the audio because you don't need it so I'll just go to about there so it's just quickly RAM previewing it might uh, yeah the blur does sometimes hang on your render time boom that's pretty nice I would say so that's all there is to it <laughs> uh, okay go away <laughs> okay that was just my sister um, try to ruin my tutorial again okay um, and that's about <laughs> there is to it so nice fade out and, and fade in transition with a bit of blur makes it look real nice and that's all there is so thanks for watching guys and I hope this helped you uh, helped you so don't forget to like drop a like comment and subscribe maybe even a favorite if this helped you out and I'll catch you later in a different tutorial so see ya